Hey guys, so today I'm going to be covering our discussion that we had about the history of rock. So let's get into it. I'm going to be talking about the evolution of rock through the decades from the very beginning of rock, which was in the 1950s. Rock was born out of controversy and rebellion. The center of rock movement was based around nonconformity and misbehavior. In the genre of rock, some essential instruments are drums, obviously, but they are essential to establish a feel for each song. There was also electric bass, which was there to lock in with the drum rhythmically. The harmony of the songs are controlled by the keyboards and the rhythm guitars. Horns and strings are optional for rock songs, not really mandatory. Rock essentially emerges in the 1950s where Jackie Brinson and his Delta Cats actually composed the very first rock and roll song in 1951, which was called Rocket 88. Rocket 88 doesn't really give me the whole vibe of rock and roll that I would think of, but I guess I haven't really been exposed to all the different kinds of rock and roll that there can actually be. James Dean, Johnny B. Good, Elvis, and Buddy Holly were all parts of 1950s rock and roll. The most popular, which basically everyone has heard of, is Elvis. He was the first rock and roll artist to draw attention from major labels and have hits on all three charts at the same time. Buddy Holly, another one of the first major artists in early rock music, wrote, recorded, and produced his own material. He was included into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. They called him an innovator for writing his own music. Even after he died in a plane crash in 1959, he still influenced rock musicians in the 60s and 70s. Now to the 60s, where the Beach Boys and the Rolling Stones, plus the Beatles, thrived. Also in the 60s, a noticeable number of songs portraying teenage death were being released and made popular. Teenagers were romanticized in death, and this lasted from around 1959 to 1964. Phil Spector was a producer in the 1960s. The Beatles and the Beach Boys both influenced, well, they were influenced by Spector. In the late 60s were Mama and the Papas garage bands such as the King's Band and also the Supremes. SGT Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band was an album by, by the Beatles and it was one of the most important albums in rock history. It had a wide style range and it was one of the most important albums in history mostly because it was the first concept album which means it was all based around the story. On to the 1970s, which was more or less a quiet decade. Led Zeppelin was one of the most successful new British groups of the 70s. The 70s was also known as the disco decade to most of us. From that, we moved into the 1980s when the MTV launched. And it's still somewhat popular today. Madonna and Michael Jackson were major 80s idols. Michael Jackson was arguably the biggest 80s star in popular music during the 80s. He was the king of pop for most people. That can be argued depending on who you talk to. There are critics. Um, he was also known for the moonwalk dance by most of us. Madonna was also the queen of pop. And she pushed the boundaries of songwriting and imagery in mainstream music. She's praised by critics and may be the most influential woman artist of all time. And last but not least, the 90s, where there was Nirvana. That majority of music lovers during the 90s listened to. And if you didn't, you were probably weird. <laughs> Nirvana's Nevermind album created an alternative rock movement into the mainstream in 1991. And that's about it. That sums it up for the history of rock until the present. 
Thanks for watching.